You know, it's been an odd day. Christian left, he took Friday off from work and he went away with friends for the weekend. Wife's off doing stuff, it's five o'clock. It's been a busy week, which is nice. I'm not complaining. And it's turned cold, so it's just, everything's off. It's time to do something different here for peer reviews. That's all I'm saying. And I, I certainly am, because I'm not doing a beer review. <laughs> you know, I keep hearing about all these hopped ciders. So I went and talked to one of my local guys and said, you got to try this, Kevin. So we're going to do it. Take a look at this. This is Rubber Nat's Hard Cider. They're out of Portland, but this one's kind of unique. It's called the Hallelujah Hoppercott. Uh, this is made with American apples, local apples, as I said. Um, they, they say it's like a Belgian wit style cider steeped in coriander, bitter orange peel, and paradise grains. And then it's fermented with French saison and Belgian ale yeasts. So there's a, an interesting mix. <laughs> and then they add, and I assume back sweeten, I don't know apricot juice, and finish with whole leaf cascade and amarillo hops. So uh, this is my venture into hopped cider, since I'm not a big cider guy. And, and they date it, they've got it dated on the side so that you know it's fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a shot. We're gonna see, can Kevin be converted? Uh, you know, so we're gonna give this a pour. This is actually really very clear. I, I expected this to be a darker, uh, darker. But again, I don't do a lot of ciders. So uh, it's effervescent. I can see bubbles coming up the side. Uh, that's a good thing. I'm gonna get a nose on this. Wow, <laughs> that, was, that was just not, I've had cider. Don't, don't kid yourselves, folks, I've had ciders I, I tried some last winter, like November, October, at the at one of the beer things, you know, for the distributors. But this is wow! This was wow! I don't even know where to start. Um, it's just exploding with aromas. I mean, you, there's certainly apple as a base, you can tell, but God, there's like this aroma I can't even identify. I know it. It's it's something I know, and I, I can't tell you. You can you can tell that they've got like some kind of coriander or spices. You can tell that they've got the orange peel in there. That's obvious. Oh, okay. Well, duh. It's the apricot. It's uh. They must have pureed or something. It's exploding with the apricot, but the but but you get some like grapefruit off that cascade, which you are not expecting. And you're getting like some orange aromas that are not the orange peel that have got to be the Amarillo. Well, at least in aroma, I'm, I'm somewhat converted and, and pleased and surprised. So anyway, I'm not going to try to describe this much further. We're going to cheers, especially to all my friends in the UK. It's the UK guys I hear from the most, but New Zealand, I'm hearing about the hop cider. CQ, all of you, cheers. Here we go. Wow, that is, that is so different. That is, that is not, a, I, I need to just get a, an apple cider that's hopped, actually. That is not like any cider I've ever tried. It's very, it's actually very thin, um, not super apple-y, honestly. Very, very refreshing. <laughs> Along with the apricot, it's not all sweet. It's kind of, it's like the, you know, the apricot pit, you know, it has that little bit of a, a tang and a bitterness to it, you know, a little sour. And it has some of that on there as well, which, which was, again, something I didn't expect. I like it in that it's different. I, as a kid, I grew up with apricot trees in the back of grandpa's house. We used to climb up when they were fresh and eat them. And it makes me think a lot of that. They're using seriously fresh ingredients here. I, that's really obvious to me. Well, it's fun. 
I'm enjoying it. It's still not really super my thing, per se. Um, uh, it's certainly different. I, I've got half of it here, and I'll, I'll finish it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to still, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to do this again. I'm going to have to try more of a, a regular um, hopped cider. That's mentally what I was prepared for, honestly. As more apple taste. This uh, apricot's very... It overpowers the apple flavors altogether. So it's fun. You know, I'm going to give it for me, you know. I can only give an overall. I can't rate ciders. So for me, I'll say it's a... It's, a, it's in that good range. I'm going to give it like a... I don't know. Throw out like a, a 73... It's kind of what's sticking in my head. That basically means it's it's kind of tasty. Um, it's kind of refreshing. Would have been good for a hot day. Um, something that I would do in the summer if I was really thirsty. <laughs> and I wouldn't turn it down. And, you know, it's got some kick. It's This is, by the way, a 6.9% ABV. So I kid you not that uh, that's I think that's pretty high for a for a cider, to my knowledge. Anyway, who am I kidding? I want to say this. I want to say if if you've got a hopped cider, because I'm looking specifically for hop cider. I mean, unless there's just an insanely good cider, you think Kevin? There's no way you're gonna just love this, no matter what. Please. Seriously, I'm really serious. Write down below. Tell me, Kevin, find this cider. You've got to try this hard cider or try this hot cider. You've got to try this one. And I will do my best to find it because I'd like to find a cider that I really enjoy. And I'm not going to say I've, I've exhaustingly looked. Not, not by any shot. I've had a few. So tell me, write down below, Kevin would like to see you drink this cider. Life's too short to drink cheap beer or cider, I suppose. I don't know. But I will definitely see you in the next beer review. Cheers. Catch you later, folks. <laughs>